In today's video, we're going to be writing numbers in standard form, which is a really important skill in both maths and science. Remember, the whole point of standard form is that it's a very convenient way of writing very large or very small numbers because it becomes very difficult to deal with numbers which look like this number, for example. They're very long, they're impossible to say, well, they're impossible for me to say, and they're quite difficult to use. So the whole point of standard form is to make this far more straightforward. And then what all you need to do is get a number between one and a number less than 10, and then you multiply it by 10 to a power. And remember, a power is a small number that goes up here. So to show you an example, 3 million, which is 3 followed by 6 zeros, could be written as 3 times 10 to the 6, whereas 0 0.001 is written as 1 times 10 to the minus 4. So when we have a positive power, that makes the number much larger. If you've got a negative power, you'll be looking at a very small number, one that includes a decimal point. And I'm now going to show you how to work out how to draw various numbers in standard form. So starting with this number here, first of all, we need a number that's between one and less than 10. So obviously we can see that it is four. And you just want to count the number of times the decimal place will have moved, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our final answer here is 4 times 10 to the 9. In B, we're looking at 36,000. Now, we can't write 36 times 10 to the something because that's not a number between 1 and less than 10. So we're going to write 3.6 times 10. And we need to work out how many times the decimal place has moved again. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's simply times 10 to the 4. In example C we're looking at 14.3 million or 14 million 300,000. Again, we need a number between one and less than 10. Count the number of decimal places, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's why our final answer is times 10 to the seven. Let's look at standard form from a different approach now, looking at very small numbers and how we turn them into standard form. So we're gonna have six times 10 how many times has the decimal place moved? One, two, three, four. And remember that minus sign to show that we have a decimal point. So that's 10 to the minus four. Our number to begin with is gonna be 2.5. And our decimal place has moved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's times 10 to the minus 7. 